Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're at the Flamingo Hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. And this is actually one of the oldest hotels in Las Vegas. And it's also one of the cheapest part of the Caesars property. This hotel was built in 1946 and it has a huge history. Some of the most famous people in the world have been here. Elvis Presley for one. There's so many old pictures of this hotel. Some people think it's the first hotel that ever existed in Las Vegas. But the fact is, it's the third, and it was founded by the notorious Benjamin Bugsy Siegel. It's always really lively. A lot of people walk through here. So even if they don't stay at this hotel, they just walk through. It has an entrance and an exit that is very convenient to walk through. So I think people passing by from other hotels just kind of pass through just to check it out and maybe to get away from the heat. Sometimes it's over 100 degrees in Fahrenheit in Las Vegas, if you didn't know. So I've never stayed at this hotel. I usually stay in the south of the Strip, but I will stay here soon just to say I did it once. This place has a lot of food options, lots of slots, and lots of tables. It's a fairly low-end hotel. You always see a lot of partiers here. That's one reason I usually don't stay here. I feel like on a Friday or Saturday night, it would just be really loud in the hallways and people coming back to their room at all hours. I know that's normal for Vegas, but I wouldn't call this one a family hotel. I mean, maybe it is, but it's just certainly a great location to stay, so... I just didn't see a lot of people with kids here. Usually people in their 20s, people on a budget, people that want to be close to the action. So this hotel is right in the center of the strip, and when you get outside of the hotel, there's just lots of things to do in the area. There's the Miracle Mile, there are other hotels right next door, the Paris Hotel. And then here's the entrance uh, coming from the tram. So it actually has its own monorail station. And if you go down into this area here, you'll see that they have lots of shops. And this Las Vegas monorail has a very convenient stops. It starts at the MGM Grand, which is all the way on the south of the Strip. And then it can take you all the way to the Convention Center, which is on the north end of the Strip. And this hotel is right in the center of the Strip. So you probably won't even be needing it at all, unless you need to explore the Strip farther than just the center. But if it's your first time in Vegas, you probably will only need to be in this area. But it's still great to have the monorail. So what we're doing now is we're going down into the area before the casino. So on your left, there are some elevator banks and they take you up to the rooms. And then here's where some of the shops are, souvenirs, themed, branded things to bring home, pink flamingo related items, of course, pool gear. Kind of the standard markets that you see in these hotels. This area reminds me of an, kind of an airport or a train station. Just the way that's laid out. You can see the casino over there. This is where we started the video on the right. This was a, about a Tuesday or a Wednesday, so this wasn't a Friday or Saturday, but it's, it was still uh, busy. Here's some footage of the outside of the hotel. You can, you can tell how old the building is just by looking at it. And then here's some, here's some of the front of the hotel, right on the strip. So that's Las Vegas Boulevard there. In the top right of your screen, you can see the Cosmopolitan. Yeah, so this particular street doesn't have too much on it, but just on the next street, there's so many things there. That's where the Paris Hotel is, a bunch of restaurants. They have the Miracle Mile there. So it really is a fantastic location. But I'm gonna leave you with some pool footage because I do think that this place is really unique. The time that I went here was probably about seven o'clock at night, 7.30. It was still a bright day. I think that's why the pool was closed. But look at that. It's known for its pool. So people love to come out here and just hang out at the pool all day. I think it's one of the most inviting pools of the hotels in this area. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I have tons more Las Vegas content on my channel, including detailed reviews of the hotels on the Las Vegas Strip, in addition to these types of walkthroughs. So if you want, you can check those out on my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.